came out hot and fresh cheese melted oh the grits let's take a moment for the back with another video we are back with yet another food review video tiasha is here and we are on our last video of black history month and you know we had we had to end it with a bank so we are down in south florida and we are going to plantation florida we are heading over to just spoons to try some soulful breakfast so let's hop right into the video just left the restaurant and I have a menu they let me keep one so let me tell you guys exactly what I got so I got a strawberry shortcake French toast plus fried chicken and it came with fried chicken two vanilla bean French toast and two eggs and then mom ordered the season special butter pecan 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 however you pronounce it french toast and fried chicken this is a new item on there and it came with two butter pecan french toast fried chicken and two eggs and then um we went to breakfast with my uncle and i was tasked with finding the restaurant so my uncle and his kids all had the same thing which was the basic with the um with bacon so that's what we ordered and then I also got a um I think he said it was the um it had to be the socket to me punch I got the non-alcoholic and it came with orange juice pineapple lime strawberry with pineapple ice on top okay so we're gonna start with my food so I got the um strawberry french toast strawberry shortcake french toast and I was jumping out my comfort zone because y'all know I usually just get something basic like a, a basic waffle, a chicken and waffle. But I said, you know what? Today I'm going to jump out of my comfort zone because I'm feeling it. I'm in the mood for it. Let's do it. So I got the um, strawberry French toast. And when I say 
no mistakes were made so they had like the the french toast tastes like it tastes like they use some type of like croissant they it was different it wasn't an average french toast like whatever type of bread they used had a nice flavoring to it and then they dipped it in some type of batter to make it french toast and then they added the strawberries and the cream cheese icing i was like just spoons wow i was so impressed with my first bite i was like oh my gosh i enjoyed that and then mom got the butter pecan one and she said it was so good y'all know mama usually get fish and grits that's gonna be her order and that's what she gonna get every time but today she said she was feeling good and she wanted to try something new so she got the um butter pecan uh, french toast and she said absolutely no regrets absolutely no regrets and then um i was just sitting in there and i had a, um, a water with lemons to drink i did not get a sprite yes i really have been cutting down on the sprites i did not get a sprite mama got a sprite but i did not get one but i was sitting there and then i saw everybody kept getting these drinks i'll show you guys a picture of it but the drinks look so pretty i was like i want one i want one i want a drink so um I, um the waiter muhammad he had um he had offered us not offered us he had told us about the drink but we declined at first but then when i kept seeing it i was like uh-uh i need to get me one of those drinks so i got the um I think I got the socket to me punch. I'm not really sure. I just told him I wanted one of the pretty drinks and I told him to make it how he make it and it was good and I enjoyed it. It was one of my, I can't even say my favorite part because I absolutely love my French toast but I also love that drink. And they have it um, alcohol, alcoholic as well. I was asking mama, mama like, girl, I don't know. Why are you asking me? But I looked on the menu and they said, when you get the um, drink with the pineapple ice on top, which is like a, it's like a shaved ice, but I would have never thought to put that in a drink, but it really adds a little extra. Mm. And I'm pretty sure I had um, watermelon flavor. I think he said they had pineapple flavor ice and they had some type of blue ice because my little cousins were there as well. And we were waiting for our food and um, Muhammad brought out three little um, cups of the the frozen ice and they were enjoying it and they said it was mm -mm good so for the alcoholic drink with the Italian ice on top is called the sour mimosa and it's rose apple wine lime simple syrup sour and scoop of sour apple ice and that's the only one that I see with the um, the ice on top. And I also had um, some frozen peaches in my drink. I knew it was supposed to be just garnish, but I was eating the frozen peaches as well because I just like fruit and that just really added like, uh, when I took the first sip of that drink, I was like, Whew, all right, just fools, do your thing. And then my uncle, and his kids, they all ordered the same thing because they are picky eaters and they're just like, we don't want to try nothing new. We want to stick with what we know. And he said he had no complaints on his end as well. So let's jump right into the review. So we were going to have um, lunch, not lunch, breakfast brunch with my uncle and we decided to, they, they let me choose the restaurant and I chose just spoons. And I just saw it on Google. I just Googled um, breakfast in Broward and that came up. And I wasn't aware that it was that popping and that crowded. So we got there around 9.45ish and they didn't open at 10 o'clock and Google kept saying, they are not gonna be open, they are not gonna be open. I'm like, that's fine, we'll just get there. And I'm glad we got there when we did because when we arrived at 9.45, there was already a line and we were about fourth or fifth in line and we got there 15 minutes before they even opened. And while we were sitting there, I tell you guys, they were just in and out, in and out, in and out. 
that is a very 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 busy place so if you do plan on going to just spoons make sure you make reservations or you arrive early early because if you don't you will be grass you will just be sitting there like I'm hungry do not go if you're super super hungry either because it may take a while to get your food so for us we had a party of six it was me my mom my uncle and his three girls so yeah we had a party of six and I told you guys we got there at 9 45 and we didn't leave we didn't leave to about 12 15 ish it took us about an hour to get our food I'm not sure what the long wait was about I don't know it had to be because we had so many people in our party because some of the people that we came in with had eaten paid and left and we were just getting our food but I also have to give credit to our waiter because there's a little um, area where they pick the food up and I saw him over there standing there like I'm not leaving until my table get their food because we were getting hungry because I hadn't eaten all morning and I didn't know that this place was gonna be like this popping or I thought it was just gonna be like a little hole in the wall we're just gonna go in get our food and leave but this place is very popular in Broward clearly because there was a line the whole time because where we were sitting we could see the line outside we could see there was a line the whole time from the time we got there to the time we left there were people outside waiting I was like sheesh so yeah if you go to just spoons if you go with a larger party be prepared for um a wait but when i saw people with one or two people in their party or three people they were getting their food and they were leaving so i didn't take anything off for them because i do have to give it to them they know it was taking a while for us to get our food but he did bring out the italian ice for the kids because he know that's who gets really antsy if they haven't eaten and then he also did try to bring out like biscuits and croissants just to make sure they had some food to eat while we were sitting there and waiting so we did have a wait but they did kind of make up for that as well so for presentation I would give them a 9.5 out of 10 <laughs> because um, they they had it all nice and pretty like they took their time and they made it look really good you guys have already seen that on the thumbnail but they took their time and my uncle he doesn't like parsley he's allergic to it and when he saw our food come out he was like uh -uh, I don't want no parsley and my mom he was like why they gotta put that on there my mom was like because people grade them like Diasha on presentation. <laughs> so I did appreciate the little camera dot, but I was saying I did appreciate the presentation and all the effort and time they put into it. I enjoyed that. So presentation, they get a 9.5 out of 10. I did appreciate that. And then for location, it wasn't super far, far in the Broward. It was actually um, a nice little distance. It didn't take us five ever to get there, thank God but for location i would give them a eight out of ten they are in this little plaza and we did have a time trying to actually find it in the plaza like we kept going in and out around and around so if you go it's in the plaza it's in the plaza when google tell you to turn turn into the plaza because it's in there i'm telling you it's in there we learned we made a mistake for y'all it's in there so for location i give them a eight out of ten and then for customer service i give them a nine out of ten even though we did have the long wait i must say that they really did um make up for it like i told you guys with all the additions they added and then even um, they had security there and then they had someone outside you know managing the line making sure everything goes well with that and then for presentation customer service oh portion size so portion size i got i think it was i would say about two pieces of french toast cut up to make it look pretty i got three trick chicken strips and i got two eggs and that was 24 dollars so it's a little above the average but nothing crazy i think my meal still came out to be 30 40 dollars because that drink the drink that i had was eight dollars so 
yeah it came up to be about 35 and then, you know with tips so i would say it was about a 40 dollar breakfast that could be a little pricey for some but it wasn't crazy especially for what i got because i did enjoy my food and i did have a specialty drink and the ones with alcohol is 16 dollars for the drink so be prepared for that if you go and a sprite was only two dollars and 75 cents so i should have just got a sprite and saved my coins but you know what i'm not mad because i really did enjoy that drink and this this place just spoons reminded of us like a soulful kiki's like me and mama always get up and go to breakfast we just go grab us some brunch i feel like that's one of those places that if we're just in the mood we'll just be like you know what let's go get some just spoons because we're feeling us some soulful breakfast because that's exactly what it was and then for portion i gave you guys i say portion i would give them a eight out of ten and then for price i would give them a eight out of ten because i guess it could be pricey to some but it was decently priced and then for taste oh i forgot to tell y'all about the grits the grits how can i forget y'all know Y'all know for a fact, if I went to breakfast, I got me some grits and I added me some cheese the right way. No discussion. Grits with cheese, savory grits. If you want your, your, your oatmeal and all of that, that's supposed to be sweet. Grits are supposed to be savory, okay? Non-negotiable. <laughs> but um, I got grits and I added cheese. And y'all know when y'all go places, you usually have to add a little salt, a little pepper, or you're like, mm. with these grits, I didn't have to add nothing. I didn't have to add a thing, and they came out hot and fresh. Cheese melted. Oh, the grits. Let's take a moment for the grits. If you like grits, if you like grits, if you're a grits connoisseur, like I am. Get the grits when you go there. Like, next time I go to Just Spoon, because I know there's going to be a next time, I want to get the catfish and grits. And I feel like, they said it's one of their top things. Let me see. Yeah. Catfish and grits. Two boneless, skinless catfish fillets. Served with two eggs, grits, or home fries, biscuit, or toast, or honey butter croissant. That honey butter, butter croissant looked really good because my uncle had it. I didn't get any, but because I had my food coming and I wanted to be able to eat, the honey butter croissants looked good as well. And I saw they had like a strawberry butter. They have a lot of cool, unique things to choose for on that menu. So for taste, I would give them a nine out of 10. So for overall, the last restaurant of Black History Month, I would give Just Spoons a nine out of 10. I absolutely enjoyed my experience there. I had a little wait time, but you know, you win some, you lose some. But I would wholeheartedly recommend you guys go to Just Spoons. And if you go, tell them that I should send you. Send me pictures. Y'all follow me on Instagram or do you? If you don't, my Instagram will be right here. So make sure you are following me. Send me a message. Show me what you got. Y'all know I respond to y'all. I've even had people send me stuff on TikTok, Instagram. And I always respond if I see the message. Of course. And make sure you comment down below if you eat grits. Comment down below because I want to know. <laughs> and that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys for supporting me. And thank you guys for watching all the Black History Month videos. I've been posting on YouTube. I've been posting on Instagram. And I've been posting on TikTok. So make sure you're following me in all three places. Just to make sure that you don't miss a thing. So that's going to be the end of this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye!